All right. Good morning, developers. So welcome to the video. In this video, I would be explaining you C sharp uh, inheritance, uh, basically overloading constructors. How how do we invoke the base class constructor via Python code first, and then we'll see in the C sharp. So the reason of doing this is basically to try to understand. The, so when you are doing different different languages, you understand the problem or the concept in a better way. So that's the reason. Let's look at a very simple example in Python. Okay. So I have a base class constructor called as person, right? Which has which takes two attributes, that is a name and age, and I have a message called as a uh, base class constructor. I'm gonna show you the C sharp code after that. Okay. Then I have a student class constructor which inherits from person. I have a constructor. I'm I am basically overloading the base class constructor and passing the arguments name and age, and it's gonna set its name and age, right? Then I set the attribute call a student ID because the students has a student ID which is unique to the student class, right? And I do that, right? Now what uh, what happens is basically when I call the when I create an object of a class student, so for the first of all when I run this, so the first thing it's gonna call the base class constructor, right? Since you can see person, so it's gonna set the name and age attribute, gonna come back, then it's gonna set the ID, right? I'm gonna print the child class constructor, right? That's how the object oriented code works, right? Let's look at the C sharp code and understand this concept even more better. So I'm gonna paint this, paint that one. Okay, so I hope uh, this would be a little better for you. Okay, so I have a person class, right? Uh, I don't know why this is uh, coming up, but uh, I'm sorry for that. So I have a person class constructor. Uh, let me get rid of that one. Okay. So I have a person class constructor. I have two attributes, name and age, right? As we saw here, right? Name and age. Let's go down. I have a constructor in C -sharp. in Python. We say in it in C sharp, we say basically public and the name of the class. And I set the attribute, call us name and age, right? We use the keyword this. We use the keyword self, right? Printing system.console.write line, print statement, right? Understanding, right? Now, let's come to the student class. Uh, with basically, it's going to inherit from person, right? This is how you do inheritance. And here you do inheritance like this, right? So it has an ID. So, the of course, the constructor, which is going to take the three arguments. Now, in order to invoke the base class, you, you say the word base, that's how you do it in C sharp. And then you specify the name and age, right? And then the ID is also set, right? This is how you do that in C sharp, okay? So if I run this, uh, let me uh, uh, do command and the tilde sign so I can get my command from. And basically what I'm doing is basically I'm just creating an instance of a class and I'm calling the introduce method, okay? So let's see what happens. So the program is compiling. It should call the base class constructor first, then the child class, and then the introduce. And this is what we expected. Base class constructor, the child class constructor, and then we call the introduce method where we are just printing all the details. So this was a very short video on constructor inheritance in C sharp. Uh, I was trying to relate this in Python so you can understand this concept a little better. If you have enjoyed this tutorial and concept, don't forget to hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.